Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a game for you in the Yu Yang, the tier 10 Pan Asian DD, um, with the new and improved features. <laughs> if you weren't aware, the Yu Yang got uh, a torpedo reload booster in the new patch, so I've been uh, trying it out, and uh, yeah, it's kind of working quite well. Um, I mean, this is a an ocean game, right? So everybody loves ocean, don't they? <laughs> I don't mind it so much playing DDs. At least uh, I've got concealment on my side, of course. So there's something in the alpha cap. I'm going to go in there. I'm backed up by my friend Valkyrie in his demine. And uh, eight times just behind him in the grosser curve first. And we can see a Preussen. Frederick de Grosser and an Alabama and a Shimakaze is being radared and he's right in front of me so I think I'll uh, take a smoke and shoot him up now he was detecting me so I'm expecting some torpedoes so yeah Decided to go for the reverse. I think he only got chance to send one set. So I think we're good here. <clears throat> and I'm, I'm looking at sending uh, onto the battleships there. And utilising the torpedo reload booster of course. So I'm just aiming at the smoke. Tops away. I think that first set was uh, aimed at a retreating ship. Yeah, it looks like we're going to get the cap as well, which is lovely. So, um, emboldened by our decent start, I decide I'm going to drive into these guys. Try and get as close as I can. Like I said, I've always got a better chance of hitting your torpedoes the closer you get. And, uh, yeah, easy dodge there, no problem. And detected, um, yeah, which tends to happen when you're uh, when you're being aggressive like this, uh, <laughs> and that's a lot of incoming fire right there. So time to run away. Nearly half a million damage avoided, <coughs> and. Uh, I do apologise if my voice sounds a bit dodgier than usual. I've got a chest infection at the moment and uh, the doctor's referring me for a chest x-ray to see if it's uh, potential COPD. So yeah, there is that going on as well at the moment, but uh, hopefully all will be well. And uh, it looks like we're going to get some tops, in, well one top into the price and anyway which is nice and is flooding which is good so not to be put off by losing half my health um, I decide I'm gonna keep these guys spotted it's the least I can do for the team and uh, possibly do a wide circle back around into the Bravo cap if we can drive these guys off a little bit, there's a good chance we can get back into Bravo. Or get into Bravo for the first time. We've got our submarines in there. And uh, we've got some ships in D10 getting heavily pressured. There's a kid over there. And he's probably getting radared <coughs> by that San Diego, I would imagine. I think the San Diego's a new American cruiser, I would imagine. Torpedo it's probably got a radar. I think it's probably in testing at the moment. Yeah, and these ships don't seem as though they want to be stopping anytime soon, so I'll just uh, help them on the way with some aerial area denial tops. Now, the Yu Yang does get deep water torpedoes, however, they can hit cruisers as well. 
so they're not like the Asashio types that can only hit battleships and uh, aircraft carriers. So it has a little bit more utility, that's for certain. And uh, its guns are pretty much the same as the gearing. Uh, it is a gearing class, I believe anyway. I believe it's a gearing class destroyer. And detected again. And the Shinokaz is back. So I'm going to give him the treatment with the guns. Slow down a bit. <coughs> Duke some of the incoming shells. Smoke up. Reversing the smoke, and then go forward again. Because I think they've probably got a bead on where I was. Yeah. So forwarding the smoke, avoiding most of the shells there, which is fine. And now uh, <clears throat> I'll drive straight into the capsule. But I don't think the Shimakazi wants uh, wants to get involved. Hopefully not. Anyway, and if he does, it's gonna be. Uh, him or me. Uh, the Kremlin's out wide and he's kind of reversing I think. San Diego, Alabama out that way. Yeah we really need this Bravo cap as well because we're, <clears throat> we're quite well down on on points at this point point in the game so minor two smokes up in front of me and that's an ideal target right there about nine kilometers away so two sets away on him reload booster up and I'm gonna try and feather some into the Kremlin ah, it looks like we're getting the cap which is lovely I just need to avoid these incoming torpedoes, which shouldn't be an issue. Now, the enemy submarine's about as well. well I really don't want to get involved with that. It's not a great deal you can do in a DD against submarines. Oh, that's nice. The Minotaur gets uh, dev struck there. So yeah, that's a step in the right direction. Cossack briefly popped up there. So yeah, um, got the points lead. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna go into the points lead very shortly anyway. Might get a torpedo on the Kremlin. Yeah, he takes one with a flood. And uh, I'm gonna drive straight up the map again. It's like my friend Atom's pushing in hard, he's just behind me. So yeah, it's a pretty close game this one, which is uh, a pleasant change. A lot of the games these days seem to be a bust one way or the other, but uh, it's nice when you get a close one like this. Uh, yeah, we've got the same amount of ships left, so I'm going to get some more tops into that smoke screen I had. Um, yeah, there's a Neptune in there. The Johan. So I'm going to smoke up and try and get some shells into this guy. He's got undetected. He's not very keen to get hit, I don't think, is he? <laughs> and plenty of torpedoes inbound. Bit of an awkward one, this. Just 
turn and slow down and it passes by so we're a ship down um, it's probably time to do something uh, meaningful <laughs> so out of the smoke and uh, I'm going to drive up to Charlie Cap spot the Neptune see the Alabama and the Neptune's smoking out so we all know what that means we need to get some torpedoes into this fella don't we he's fairly close that's seven kilometers away so it shouldn't take long for the torps to reach him two full sets try to keep the Johan de Witt spotted for the team Maybe the Harlem can deal with him, with his AP. It looks as though that's not the case. Um, now the Neptune is spotted. And he just took a big hit there, which is great. And he's not going to avoid those torpedoes either. <clears throat> so that'll do. So I'll turn back <clears throat> and hopefully get into the Charlie Cap. It'd be nice if we could get all three caps in this game. It's one of the little goals that I tend to set myself if, if all things go reasonably well in a game. I do like to get all the caps if I can. <laughs> uh, yeah. Meanwhile, we've got the Kremlin over there. 17 kilometers is a fair fair way away just yet so I need to get quite a bit closer to him I want to get some torpedoes into that guy because he's a massive threat to the friendly team <clears throat> San Diego's still going strong out there as well and uh, it looks as though they've got DD's approach in the Bravo camp maybe and the subs around as well um, so we see ourselves in the lead on points, but we are the ship down at this point. Oh no, no it is even, it's still even, that's, that's fine. And we're taking the cap. Getting nice and close to the Kremlin now. And he's reversing, so I'm going to send a couple of sets to the back of him turn back north I thought um, at this point I could maybe get some tops into the Alabama and the Johan as well but they're kind of kiting away although the, it looks as though the Johan de Vitt's actually turning back round now so Victory is in sight. I'll kite away from him for a little while Meanwhile, my suspicions were correct, and the enemy have got the Bravo cap. Uh, but we did manage to get Charlie, so points are still good. <clears throat> now the Johan's charging in. Uh, looks like the Kremlin's going to take the tops. And um, I'm a little bit overconfident here. I decide that. I'm going to gun this fellow down, but what <clears throat> I did forget is uh, the Johan de Vitt has got a pretty decent Hydra, <laughs> and uh, of course uh, he's hydro me. Get him on fire, um, he insta puts that out and he survives, and I die. So yeah, yeah that was a... Uh, Pretty bad mistake really, I shouldn't have got myself killed in that situation, I could have just kited away from the guy. Um, and cut to my friend Valkyrie who's getting racked by the submarine, 
<coughs> in his domain. He's got his heel going there, and the Cossack's very close. Uh, he's making exactly the same <laughs> error as I did with the Johan de Witt there, right? And, um, yeah, that's an eye for an eye. So, yeah, this game's really close, right? <coughs> And uh, cut to Rita. Yeah, Rita Gamer was in the in this game with us. And uh, if she can manage to kill that Alabama, we can win this game. Due in part to uh, the points lead that we got ourselves into, really. So one minute thirty. Victory is in sight. Don't think the Marlboro wants to get involved with the submarine. And as Valkyrie states in the chat, we can win if we get the Alabama. And <laughs> Rita does that. She gets the Alabama and uh, that's just great, you know. The icing on the cake. So, <clears throat> all she needs to do now is uh, run away and survive for 50 seconds. And there's the points. So yeah, that kind of worked out really well. <laughs> Apart from the dying bit, but um, yeah, pretty happy with that game. It's always tricky on Ocean. <laughs>